One. There we go. Oh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Fierce Mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service, along with Max. And yeah, it's been about a week since we last minute... <clears throat> last minute to stream. And it's because, well, I got the freaking flu on Tuesday. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> or, like, like, not Tuesday, Monday, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I am... I'm still sick, though not as sick as first. For some reason, the symptoms be you know, look <laughs> seem to be running a freaking relay race. As in, first it was a, <laughs> a pain, just aching in my throat, uh, and then it just more and more started to appear. And I think you'll probably leave it at that for details on that. But yeah, yeah I, I am feeling a lot better. Maybe I'll be good enough to get uh, go to work tomorrow. Yeah, I've been having the, probably this also had a flu of some kind. The one that lost for bloody two weeks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, since I am still recovering, so I'll probably be coughing a decent amount. <clears throat> and just in case I just got an entire freaking pack of tissues. Not like the, the one thing, but where there's just like a dozen in a pack together. So, yeah. <clears throat> Just in case. Anyways, last time we finished up the main game. So now we have two story DLCs that we can play through. There's also survivor mode, but that's more a, a score you know, a score challenge kind of thing. How long you can survive and such. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, not much of interest to our you know, streaming. Maybe as a side thing. For just when I don't feel like streaming a certain game for the story and such. But yeah, we are mostly about story, so let's get started on crew expendable on medium. <clears throat> now, I, I, I know about nothing about these DLCs, only that they take well, place was, before. It was big and. Are you sure it took him under the action? Disappeared into one of the cooling ducts. My question is. It's used in the air ducts to move around. You know, the primary air shaft may work to our advantage. We can lead it through down to the main airlock. Who gets to go into the vent? Oh. Oh, we, we can select a character. <coughs> uh, it says arrows, but it's WASD. Okay, Dallas, Parker, and, well, Ellen Ripley, mother of Amanda Ripley, who we played as in the main game. And, well, judging by the name, Crew Expendable, I think we might lose one or two of these. What do I need to do? Ripley, you lead it into the primary air shaft. We trap it on the lower deck. Then Ash opens the airlock. Lock down the maintenance hatches where Parker, Lambert, and me are tracking it on the way. Let's do it, people. So, yeah, welcome to the Nostromo. Seriously? What the heck? Y what? Look at the table. Yeah, one of those stupid things. <laughs> also, uh apparently they were playing some poker. Oh, dear. Okay, we need to collect our equipment, wherever oh. that may be. What was the NBC coffee? I thought I mistook the NBC first for you for wait, that sounds rather odd for the Helian's coughing. <laughs> for an obvious reason. The Nostromo has landed on the surface of the planetoid the acoustical beacon is transmitting from. Dallas, Kane and Lambert are making preparations to approach the beacon on foot. Surface structure is basalt with <laughs> traces of rhyolite and probable lava overlays. Atmosphere, inert nitrogen, a little oxygen, and high levels of free CO2. Pressure reads at 10 to the 4th times per centimeter. Quite the storm raging out there. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> like I said, I have hardly a clue of what is going to go on in these DLCs. Like, the only thing I know about is that it sets, well, 
at this point in time, like 15 years before uh, the game, the main game starts. On well, at this one at least, on the Nostromo. Which is the movie, so what you said earlier, Captain? Yes, people will die, obviously. You might want to look around before you go on. The specimen seems extremely adaptable. Interesting choice of words. Specimen instead of monster. Well, yeah. Parker? Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Okay, then where the heck do we pick up our stuff then? <laughs> Uh, here. Okay, a flamethrower and a motion tracker. Nope. Don't eat it. That looked a little bit of a glitch. Okay. Yeah. Zero, zero, B1. Okay. Yeah, down the hatch over here, I'm presuming. Only 150 flamer fuel. We need to be really sparing with that. Shut a number of doors, so you'll need to gather equipment en route. Mother isn't really helping the situation, unfortunately. Yeah, the AI of the ship, I believe. I'm closing the hatch behind you. Sure. Okay. I'll. I like that her motion yes, motion tracker looks different from the one in the main game. Okay, yeah, I'm going to need to look around for more stuff because we are not going to last long with just that amount of fuel. Hello, Henry. Okay, uh, one thing I did learn is that apparently the console versions of this game, they do have microphone detection, but the PC version does not. So there is no real need for me to keep my... <laughs> to not talk when it is in view, but... Uh, open for the best. This way. Okay, we're also dealing with a lot tighter quarters. Oh, hello, Parker. Close it down. This plan is crazy. Some kind of suicide. It's the only plan we've got, Parker. If you've got a better one, I'd like to hear it. I think they actually got the original voice actors for this, judging by the credits that we saw. <laughs> really? Oh god. Uh, maybe? Uh, hmm. Not sure that it'd be possible in the next game. So it has been a while since this game got released. Yeah. And I think some of the original actors have passed away. The only one I think I recall that has, I can almost confirm it. Well, I say almost as I'm not sure myself. The original actor for the original alien may have passed away. Okay. What do you mean, and Ripley? It, no, 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 the original alien, the xenomorph. Okay. It was Suit a guy actor. in a... Yeah, the suit actor sense before they moved on to the CGI stuff. So it's bloody damn impressive CGI later they did. This might be a mistake. Oh, we don't even have a flashlight. <laughs> Let's see. 
can make flares and medkits. It's not... There is... Took the time to wait for the door. Oh, oh fuck, that's the way we need to go. Okay, I, I... Either that was just plain bad luck, that it was already going to enter into the vent there, or it saw us straight through there. Yeah, and here's the thing. They never use those vents on the other spaceship that we played out to. So in this game... Those winds are no longer safe haven for us. That they can't. Oh, ah, nice try. Uh, they ha they did get us in the vents a few times though. It just it typically goes for the upper vents and not the ones that we can climb into. Yeah, I just meant that they never use vents like this one, but they have a, a what do you call a hatch? The open and close automatic uh, uh, door ones they never used in the other game. In, 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 in. Ah, mother! Okay, so they can also drag you out of them. Okay, I probably should have guessed they'd be able to do that. It's just, well. <laughs> It never really got an opportunity to show that. Yeah, Toto, these are no longer a safe haven for. I think you got to say it a few times by those uh, uh, doors yeah, I, in the past. I, I am pretty sure that they can. They could have gone into those as well. Just they never really seemed to do it, at least as far as we could see. So yeah, nowhere is safe. Yeah, on survival. I realized. Maybe they would do it depending on the difficulty. Could be. And yeah, it makes sense that uh, we have so low... In, <clears throat> ...such a small amount of fuel, seeing as well... ...multiple people with multiple flamers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Can we actually see it? Yeah, we can see a map. Okay. I saw something. I saw a guitar. Ooh, motherfuckers right outside the gate. <clears throat> we don't even get a flashlight to help in these places. Though this helps. So I guess no need for one. Did... Exactly where I was going. Oh, okay, he must have ducked in events or something. Dead ahead I there. I just realized uh, it's one good news with this expansion. Yeah. There's only one. Yep. Oh, the aliens this time. At least uh, this one we know there's only one. I hope it can't hear the opening and closing of that. I presume it can't. Can't really hear it stomping around over the scare music. Oh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, that was not me farting. That was me just taking a gulp of breath and... Sound <laughs> more like uh, you're about to cough in surprise with me and not fart. I'm going to clip that. Okay. It's moving away. Yeah, it went that way, so we are going this way. Oh. Okay, that is both good and bad because now it can turn up anywhere. <clears throat> Yeah, I felt, <laughs> I've looked into how speedruns of the main game are done, and apparently people through just glitching through a bunch of doors and such, people can finish the game in 25 minutes. Okay. And apparently there's also a malice system, or not maybe not malice, but some... Basically, I, I've said this before, but the... Uh, there's two layers of AI, the director. Shut up my side of the system. I'm a sitting duck here. You say. Just sit tight. It'll be over soon. Mm. Splinter Cell's Lambert is a lot more agreeable. But yeah, you have the director who will point the alien in your general direction. And then there's the alien AI who is well who doesn't know where you are, but does get a an idea from well <clears throat> the director right, apparently there is a ma a, a counter of some sorts that when that uh, gets when when they're close enough that rises if you're hiding and if it maxes out he'll well, he'll go piss off somewhere else for a bit to give you a moment of space. Like maybe happened there. I don't know. It's a hidden value for a reason. It does make sense for they are... They are actually sadists. And not me as I think so, they actually... Or say this as I understand it, uh, that they do enjoy the prey being fearful, and it makes, as I said before, the bull. <laughs> yeah, face on the thing more effective. Ooh, right there. I saw him by their shiny teeth. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you could say that it's not only the predators who like a hunt. It would have been yeah. a real mad moment to fake it to find out that I'd been lied to about the his detection. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Oh, from another thing I've been call about the learning about Simoth recently is they actually enjoy scaring you. This makes them kind of more terrifying, knowing that. Which are, we are sneaking. Okay, that is actually good for us, because now we have a few seconds where it'll just stay away. And I don't think they come out of the same, yeah, the same vents as they just entered, unless you make a real big noise or something. Get a fuel. And, yeah. Uh, 
Okay, we just need to get there. Or, no, there. Okay, so this is the better route, then. Yeah, I, at first I thought, with the, <laughs> with the name being Crew Expendable, which I think is actually part of a line from the movies, from the androids. Yep. I mean, the, the line is from the computer, but uh, not too far off. But, uh, uh, probably, yeah. I, I was just about to burn it again, but nope. Hmm. Yeah, I, I originally had the thought that we'd switch between uh, characters if one would die. Okay, I, I had absolutely no idea it was there. I should have expected that it would get spawned in front of us. Oh dear. But oh well. Good. It's doing its zoomies in the vents. Or the upper vents. Yeah. Oh, I should probably say this. Motherfucker. Oh. See you, Ripley. All right, it should have been me. It was my choice, Dallas. Let's get this done. Okay, okay good thing I found that bit of fuel. Yeah, who can bar? Find the primary air shaft system and lead the creature down to the deck below. I can connect to the airlock systems from my terminal. I saw something to collect there for a second. Who oh did? Oh, right, I was to say. Hmm. We weren't late with Steam today. We just choose to delay it for. Late. We wanted to wear shorter stream since we both unwell, especially <laughs> Hill. It's an event. <laughs> if we're really being a bit rough to have started a four hour, three hour stream or something like that when he's uh, still sick. Yeah. <laughs> Just a, a better to. Yeah, go easy at it for now. Even if the AI is not going easy on me. Yeah. It at this rate, I guess suspect we will be maybe extending Spooktube a bit. Yeah. <laughs> at least within the dark side detective. Oh, Ooh, I think we may have someone who wanted to join. Oh, give me, uh, give me all of that. Give me all of that. <laughs> uh. Derby wonders if there's room uh, for them here. Always. Oh, yeah, they're free, yeah, they're free to join whenever they're able to and feel up for it. Thought so. Duck down here. We followed the beacon and found I, I don't know, some some kind of ship. Kane went down to check out part of it. And well, there was something down there. Lots of things down there. All these eggs full of creatures. One attached itself to a suit, went through his visor onto his face. They let us back on the ship. Thank God. Kane's still alive, but they don't seem to know what to do about him. Mm -hmm. For a second, I thought it was entering, but let me double. Oh, right, yeah, we need to go to the middle of this. <laughs> I completely back past where we we're supposed to go. Gonna oh, no, wait, lead alien. Oh dear. And I also thought it was a standing by the door. It was like, no! Luckily, oh. hopefully okay. going the other way. <laughs> Is it reluctant to enter here or something? Yeah, I, I like how the vents interfering with the motion tracker and the fact that it gives up sound at short range. It uh, does not uh, uh, does not make the uh, leaning obsolete. 
since, well, if it's right on your ass, pulling this out is basically ringing the dinner bell. I'm curious what exact range it would notice. I'm guessing in the smallest uh, distance. Oh, motherfucker is camping. I might need to... I might need to go smoke it out. Okay. I think that's more roast it out. Oh, damn it, my brain. Are you trying to picture how they taste cooked or something? <laughs> no, I've already seen that uh, image uh, from a joke comic uh, they had. Uh, uh, I just imagine you could make this sort of a baked bean joke because of the head. <laughs> We're in position. I I'm just trying to get a reading here. Hold on a second. I, I think I got... Yes, it's in there with you. All right, I got a reading on you now. Well, speak to me. R right around there. You're going to have to be careful. Oh, come on! <clears throat> Yeah, this is going to be fun, stuck in the vents with the motherfucker who is many times our speed and will not <clears throat> will not give <laughs> will not flee. Okay. Yeah. Like again, in the last game we were able to use most of these vents safely. But now trying to get a reading here. None of the vents are safe. A bit more. I'm guessing, I'm guessing from the fact that it's giving us more fuel, we can drive it off if we just keep flaming it. Because like this one is not fully grown. Oh, but she's also. We're also getting. We're getting instructions. I missed that bit. Go, go, go right. Go, go, go right. I'm guessing she's trying to steer us away from it. Okay, we're in the lower decks now. Not sure if there's anything of use in there. <clears throat> the problem with my throat is, is if I if I don't hydrate, <clears throat> my throat gets worse. But if I do <laughs> drink stuff, then my nose start to get completely clogged up. Ash, yeah, flu is a jerk. It's here, okay? It's up to you. I'd find somewhere to hide. The outer airlock will take a while to open. This is Ash, science officer of the Nostromo. This is an official record in the ship's log of my actions today. One of the crew was compromised by an unknown creature. I made the decision to allow him back on board. Did that jump for a second? Or flip? Okay, so that's also why all of that bullshit happens. Can I Maybe. see? Th I can't see through that. Uh, uh, Durvy should be going soon. They just looking for coffee first. Okay. Uh, it immediately left. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm presuming on higher difficulties, redirect, we would have to wait quite a bit longer. It's moving in the right direction. Uh, a dead end. I thought it'd be. Here 
you're really agitated at the moment. I can't even tell at the moment from where it is. And something strange happening here. That motherfucker! You said you damn beast! I've got it. I've got it, she says as she gets tail whipped. Uh did we manage to eject it or well, if you were here, it's worth a try. We're going to have to think of something new. Oh, <laughs> well. Bring back life form. Priority one. All other priorities rescinded. You can't. You still don't understand what you're dealing with, do you? Perfect organism. It's structural. Perfection is matched only by its hostility. Get a title drop in a experience. second. A survivor. <clears throat> Unclouded. By conscience, remorse, or delusions of morality. Last word. I can't lie to you about your chances, but you have my sympathies. Well, that was... <laughs> okay, that was very intense, very short also, but that's the kind of the thing with DLCs, they tend to be short. Oh, oh, right. I, I was half expecting the, just the DLC to get title dropped there in the middle of it. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, that one was uh, short. <clears throat> it's probably supposed to be more played on the higher difficulties for, well, the challenge of it, since we only have a flamethrower with very limited fuel. Yeah, and I hope that one was cheap, since... <laughs> 30 minutes, really? Uh, it was included with the version I got on GOG. And I probably got it in discount there anyway, so, yeah. Yeah. I think the GOG version includes all the DLC just off the base of it. <clears throat> Anyways, Lost Survivor. Ugh, pardon? <clears throat> if this one is as short as well, we'll be done with this really quick. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> chances in the shuttle good we're gonna need coolant for the air support system Parker I powered up the shuttle have you got those coolant tanks ready we're doing it you want to give us a hand down here okay we start off with this thing now oh dear uh, uh, let's just see uh, so we have two playable characters to choose from Being a bit honest, Parker, not Parker, uh, Lambert sounded like she was phoning it in there a bit. Oh dear. But I was a. I think the reason we were able to choose which character to play as so earlier is maybe they both characters play differently. Uh, maybe, but I get the feeling they'd have to the same tasks. Lambert? Lambert! 
if she's willing to be that loud, I'm going to presume that we are in a bit of a safe zone still. Oh God, no! Oh God. Hmm. I'd have to rewatch the. Stop it! There we go. I'd have to rewatch the movie. Oh shit. But I'm kind of wondering why she can't move. Like it did she did it, did it land a paralyzing strike on her or something? Did she get stuck? You got to see the scene a bit, and um, some people could say, but I'm looking at it and then I remember what the team of loves to do. And I can suspect that the damn thing intentionally scared it so much that was, she yeah, she just couldn't move out of fear. Yeah, that it, I think we've talked about this before, but yeah, there is the whole uh, fight flight, but what people don't say is that there's also freeze. Yeah. And as I say, people, oh, so new many times here, these are also smarter than you, like, they may not be machines, but if they see you press a button enough, and see what it does, they will know what the heck they does. Yeah. And scaring <laughs> is what they do, <clears throat> and they need to do it, and they and love to scare you. Please work. Thank you. Okay, luckily, no uh, DNA ta uh, tags or that or something. Yeah. But basically, people, I think, okay, this is my theory. Maybe someone has said this before, but uh, I haven't looked into alien mm -hmm. theories. Fuck off! Okay, on, we Henry. don't have enough to chase him off again. Right, I want to. On the ship. This unknown organism. It came out of Kane. We just ejected his body out into space. I don't know how Ash missed this thing on the medical scans. It would have been visible. Anyway, he's he's putting together some sort of tracking device to help us. Catch it and, and uh, Brett and Parker. Really? Something to, to drive it toward the airlock. But this should never have happened. This is why we have quarantine regulations. For this reason. Uh, yeah, he let it. He intentionally let it through Perfect. quarantine. There. Just let yourself out. You are an unwanted house guest. You should do it. <laughs> right. <clears throat> We're not trying to see it while we can. I suspect the alien terrifies you so much intensely for it may have figured out that Parker would not want to fire on his own crew. Could okay. be, um... It may have used her as a hostage. <laughs> or rather, a meat shield. Yeah. <clears throat> Just a meat shield on the wrong side. And the thing was between Parker and her. But yeah. since it's a flamethrower... Yeah. It would mean burning the alien and her. I could suspect the alien knew that, hence what it... Yeah, did that damn good job at scaring her so damn well? Okay, it's in the big room. Again, that's my theory. It's an event, your alien theory. Uh, we let that one slide, but yes. I don't know if others have made that theory or not, since, again, I have not watched every alien theory video. This is more from what I've seen so far, I'm guessing, as a theory. Plus, stuff like that never really no. gets fully explained specifically to get people wandering.
Yeah, they, they, they're <laughs> Ripley is really wishing she got that bottle, <laughs> that spray can of WD-40 right now, huh? A what now? WD-40, which is a lubricant for metal and such. Never heard of it. Okay, we need to get there. there. Also, I'm looking to something about the, this alien. This one needs to be leaner. Turn the other way, 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 turn the other way. Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah that's, not enough, <laughs> that's not spicy enough for you, huh? Yeah, this one's a bit leaner and smaller. Tail spike? Which again, I guess, means it's uh, not fully grown. I don't like that we can't pull out the motion tracker in these small boxes. Probably do that actually sense. It could echo in that box. Uh, same in the lockers. But wait, can you use it in the lockers? Close. Yep. <laughs> well, we could. I can... Actually, I I just realized this one is bulkier. There might not be space to pull them out in here. This time we're pulling the smart thing, and yes, that actually hurt our health. Actually, that is the only exit through here. So, the only real... Option is to play Ring Around the Rosie with the, with the bastards. That may have been the closest we've been by you know, moving around them. <laughs> Hello for the... <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello and thanks for the follow, Darlene Estix. <laughs> Are we doing well today? And hello, <clears throat> me! Uh, hello, That's Durban. <laughs> uh, well, we're playing as Ellen Ripley. And, uh, well, let's just say that uh, the alien has had quite a few times to snack on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> yeah, and I should probably warn you, uh, Derby. Uh-oh. We already finished the other DLC. Yeah. It was real short. And I'm... I'm doing decent overall, <laughs> Darlene. I am recovering from the flu. So, yeah, not 100% behind us. <laughs> Fucker. But, yeah, my throat is recovered enough to at least be able to talk for a decent amount of time. Is anything useful in here? It's nope, it's better than our <laughs> okay, Darlene also has the flu. <laughs> sorry to hear about on, that. Please. It is the season for it. Yeah, sorry to hear about that for sure. <laughs> yeah, both me and uh, Hill got the flu. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you were actually talking about that a bit. Yeah, well, so I didn't know I had the flu until it dawned on me when talking to Hill yesterday that, oh, wait. Flu is the damn thing that will sheen symptom on the whim just to piss you off. <laughs> yep. Yeah, with me, it's with me. They've been in a fucking relay race. 
Like one shows up, uh, starts the lesson, then the next one. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you'll get better soon then, Darlene. Because let's be honest, nobody. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely no one likes having the flu. Yeah, like, if it's a cold, you know what to, to expect. They would know how to get ready for it. With the flu, depending on what strain it is. You might have two days cough, two day nausea, two days headache, or whatever it decides to do each day. <laughs> In only way, I was... <laughs> Could you compare a flu with a torturer? Uh, not you probably as could. badly. Yeah, definitely not as worse, that's for sure. Uh, let's see. Can I... I can hear something oh. opening. Actually... Oh, it is, is that the... F that's the freaking door up above here. Oh, okay, no. that's kind of funny. At least you know someone's moving around up there. <laughs> someone's real agitated now. Give me that. What <laughs> oh, he was behind you? <laughs> Did it see you? Apparently not. Ooh. So close. I don't know when it's gonna be ready too, but my brother is making oatmeal, so I'll be going to get that when and it's ready. Oh, all right. Okay. It does seem that we're almost ish done with this DLC as well, which well <clears throat> <laughs> would make this stream less than an hour, but still. Um It'd be too bad. Due to a much depleted crew, the Nostromo's warrant officer is in the process of collating his mother. There is a somewhat high probability of her discovering special order 937. I'm sure I've almost misread that. The organism is deadly, and it's entirely likely that whatever the outcome, its safe procurement and analysis is assured. Ash signing off. Here. Yeah, I definitely didn't misread that other one. I definitely yeah, I lost. Uh, uh, Ten minutes. Well, here we go again with this. <laughs> yeah, and I still confused. Why have these on a ship? Well, in case of stuff like this. Or, let's say that a ship is out of control and heading uh, heading for a station or a planet or something, and you don't want it hitting it in one piece. Yeah. All right, so that <laughs> is a logical reason beside the movie reason. Yeah. Yeah. Another good reason is definitely to prevent it from hitting the planet. Just freaking self destruct it. It'll still have debris falling down and such, but a much bigger chance of at least most of it burning up in the atmosphere. Okay. This is it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and I get the feeling it's not going to end right here. We still need to go get to uh, an escape pod. I mean, I thought you were about to say five seconds. <laughs> five seconds are the only one? Yeah, that's not good, no way. Yeah. yeah are you really sure we not. are on a hard time limit now? <laughs> yep. 
this is the only time I'm in a game like this where I would think, okay, definitely don't run too much. Yeah, the Hello. whole uh, keep calm and make your way to an exit in an orderly fashion fully applies. Yeah. Well, that is definitely agitated now. I'm trying to definitely look at anything that's in panic mode. <laughs> Imagine if you run around like an idiot, these things will hunt you down really easily, I'm sure. I'll take this route. You're going to need a lucky star to get out of this, Ripley. I think we've got enough fuel to drive it away once or twice. Yeah, let's... Good thing we didn't go into that vent, because... <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> I was like, oh, it was yeah. not in the vents. That's a whole lot faster than I'm pretty sure it should be. I, th I think Wei Li Chani cheaped out on the timer. <laughs> yeah. There's the bastards. I was gonna say, this sure doesn't feel like five minutes. Yeah, and I would say the Todd Darlene, I would say. Yeah. Oh, going very really terrifying at the moment. <laughs> yeah, barely a few minutes in, and we've already had nearly died. Oh, they died a few times when you were not around. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> at the very least, I hope all this Major. stuff the uh, is obstructing is its senses. The ship no, it did not. Manish its sight. Uh, motherfucker, I went by it. Uh, mm. oh, well, at the very least, we know that this thing is going to pulp it. <laughs> it will get pulped in the self destructs. It. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, let's see, which PNG? Uh, well, rightmost is me, middle is Drakir, and leftmost that's Durvan Lord. <laughs> okay, let's not get <laughs> let's not get corner scared this time. <clears throat> and yeah, that confirms that the bastard thing can see through all of this bullshit. Yeah, I'm more say it can, <laughs> but it's probably annoying. <laughs> yeah. We did seem really pissed off. Yeah. It definitely makes me wonder what kind of sight the aliens actually have. Yeah. Probably some sort of infrared or something. Yeah. They don't have eyes, or at least not visible ones. It's entirely really possible that they could have heat sensing pits like snakes do. Yeah. Uh, they probably have uh, a lot of senses. Uh, yes, Halloween is coming, and we don't actually celebrate it that much over here where I live in the Netherlands. Like, there, there is some stuff done with uh, for small children, but uh, it's not as big. Uh, Holiday. Yeah. Here. It's, 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 gonna, up. it's gonna mostly serve for kids for the trick or treating here as well in Sweden, but uh, we do enjoy watching horror movies and such uh, on that day. <laughs> well, it is the ideal time for it. Mm. Oh boy. Oh, his tail. <laughs> yeah, if you step on his tail, it will notice. <laughs> Don't have long. Get 
Get out. I find it hard to believe that thing didn't see you. <laughs> mm, well, now it's back in the room. We both are in somewhat agreement that it may, may not have eyes. <laughs> At least not in traditional sense. It might not have normal eyes, but it does not lack sight. Yeah. Give me that. Missed that last time. But yeah, Halloween isn't as openly celebrated over here in the Netherlands. Like, there's still decorations and such. <laughs> this time I'm not missing this. But there are still places where uh, kids you know, go. It's right behind side me, isn't it? Where uh, kids go trick or treating and such. Yeah, it's a very big <laughs> thing in Ireland, though. Intense. That's where you originated from. Okay, I like that she actually ducks down lower to get underneath that. <clears throat> Personally, I'm not normally much for horror, but yeah, we are still playing this game, obviously, for the season. Yeah, dude, this one is probably the most horrifying of them all. Danger. It's hard to beat Alien on that front, or even Alien and Predator or Predator. Yeah, most of the horror games we're playing been more light on the horror or like dog side detective or comedy not much time yeah final report of the commercial starship nostromo third officer reporting the other members of the crew kane lambert parker <laughs> yes. brett ash and captain dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Well, one of those sneezes stuck. Signing uh -huh. off. You say just a little luck, so I'm like, really? Just a little? Be a good girl. I love you. <clears throat> and yeah, that is in just under an hour, both of the DLCs done. Okay. I seriously thought that each DLC to be at least one or two hours, not 30 minutes each. Mm. <laughs> Some more like short little side stories. <laughs> Yeah, and we, we plan to do a short mm. story anyway. Yes. Mm. Yeah, a bit unexpectedly short. Okay, there are also these <coughs> in survivor mode where you can play as different characters who have different maps with different uh, <coughs> with different objectives. So you could you you could use these to uh, <coughs> get a bit more info on the backdrops and such of uh, like for example what the fuck ransom was doing lingard not a name we ran across i think or actually, actually, actually judging by the, the fact that it's uh it mentions the hospital here probably one of the doctors yeah she was one of the doctors hmm. one of the old ones they got in almost direct contact with the damn thing hmm. yeah, yeah that looks like uh, to tell you, plan to change your model costume. It is already in the quote-unquote Halloween costume, and I already have a Christmas one at that. Uh, so yeah, I'm not looking at getting new models. Plus, I've, I've made these myself. Yeah. And yeah, I, I do. I have. A, I have a friend of mine already working on a better version in general. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, I'm not looking for, I'm not looking to commission anyone f for making new models. <clears throat> uh, Hughes, Hughes, wasn't he one of the security people or something? 
Axel, I'm familiar with them, and well, Ricardo. And then there's just all of them in a random order. Let's at the very least take a look at one of these. Those faithful SOBs left me to rob the protector investment. I'm getting out and I'm going to make sure there's nothing to, for the vultures to salvage. Uh, delete the server records. Okay, let's see if there, if there is at least... So, oh, we can even select a character. Let's give at least one of these a try. Uh, I'm hoping they will actually, well, talk in such a way. We can we can play as freaking Ellen on the Nostrom, not on the Nostrom, on the Sevastopol. Uh, oh no, it actually they actually have different equipment. Like Ransom here, nobody's clean, everyone's got a little dirt on them. He's just got to know how to use it to make them squirm. He has a revolver, bolt gun, level 2 sats. Uh, I'm blanking on what that's supposed to mean. Players and blueprints for the EMP and Noisemaker. Amanda, take a look around you. We're all we have. No one is coming to save us. We're on our own. She has the flamethrower, cutting tool, level 1 SAT. Uh, might that mean the motion tracker? Flare and blueprints for Molotov and Noisemaker. Ellen, there's got to be a way of killing it. How? How do we do it? Flamethrower, stun baton, level 1, flare and flashbang. Axel, didn't come here for spook stories. Well, we're, you're out of luck, sweetheart, because you've just landed smack into one of them. In, in the middle of them. Come on. <laughs> that reminds me of the line from Barbosa from the first yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I was thinking the damn same. <laughs> Revolver, bolt gun, cutting tool, flare, and... Oh, actually, the SAT is probably the, uh, the hacking tool. <clears throat> Oh dear. Oh, uh, before I forget, uh, something Derby lost, but it's kind of related to this one unexpectedly. Yeah. Uh, Derby, you remember the uh, gear set exclusive the Asian Wonder is doing? <laughs> oh, I guess oh. they're not here anymore. And uh, let's see. Use uh, shotgun tracker, bolt gun. SAT cutting towards flare and blueprints for EMP and flash. But does that mean that he is the only one with the motion tracker, or is that some other sort of tracker? Anyway, oh, yeah. let's try ran ransom. Yeah. But also, it says the the triumph is made that there's a set, or um, if you pre-order or if you do the full season pass thing. And I got a close look on the helmet today on one of the live streams and. It looks like literally a golden xenomorph helmet with wings. Okay. That sounds kind of weird. Yeah. We also have one, wait. I just went to the TV screen, since that's how I watch YouTube. I realized that's a bloody xenomorph with angelic wings for ears. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I ha I think I had heard that these levels, or the, that the levels in the, that the maps in this are randomized. So yeah, we don't get a <clears throat> we don't get a map, and we don't get anything pointing us to the right uh, to the right place. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, immediately. Sounds like it might go against the idea of the character talking, but I'm not sure. Okay, that does hurt it, but not stop it. <laughs> yeah, I get that feeling you need something bigger to stop that thing. Also, Wait. it's a lot quicker on detecting us from the looks uh, of Captain, it. Look on the floor. Do we? Yeah, we do not have a flamethrower. No, no, no. <laughs> Green stuff on the floor. Oh, the acid is gone. Okay, so yeah, it will bleed. Mm. Oh, and the uh, amount, just... amount of points we can get for something is dropping. Yeah. <laughs> okay, at least we took a look at this. <clears throat> 
And now I'll Ransom is going to get a good look of the Xenomorph's insides. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay, so yeah, that is definitely how it reacts on the higher difficulties. So yeah, we at least took a look. <clears throat> something, something, it's been in a book, uh, reading Rainbow, I, I forget how it specifically goes. <clears throat> I've never even heard of that phrase, or anything like it. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem <clears throat> Well, yeah, very short enough. A much shorter stream, better said. Very short would probably be if it was like only a half an hour of streaming. And yeah, happened. at least my throat isn't killing me. <clears throat> it's not as much painful in the back of my throat, but it is still a nuisance with the coughing and such. <clears throat> but yeah, we're done with uh, Alien Isolation, and I was honestly uh, sort of hoping that there'd be a bit more to the DLCs, but yeah, they I'm presuming they didn't really cost that much to begin with. Yeah, mm. I also expect a bit more, and I hope it was more with the other characters, like Ransom and them. Yeah. But yeah. I am not gonna lie, this might be a good thing considering you're still sick. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's see, I'm... I feel like by tomorrow I should be recovered enough to go back to work. <clears throat> It's a flu, as we say no. Yeah, uh, we'll see. It, it's, it's Friday, after all. Yeah, just in case... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, just in case uh, I I work the front... You know, it's the, the bi-weekly schedule. I, one, on week one, I do you know, work on Friday and uh, Saturday. <clears throat> but yeah, if, if I feel well enough to go, I will at the absolute least bring along a pack of face masks just in case and the tissues as well of course <clears throat> but we'll have to see about that tomorrow because for ugh, for, <clears throat> for all we know I might get worse <clears throat> yeah hence as I said earlier to healing the before we saw the stream that sometimes the flu will give you a false sense of security to think oh you're better only for a moment later or the next day to slam you down with a brick. Yeah, that's, you sort of have that with freezing as well. Like, when you're at the point that you are going to be freezing to death, basically in, in a, basically the point of no, at the point of no return, to my limited knowledge, you actually start to feel warm. And, yeah, when you're at that point, it's basically... It's, it's the edge. You're either going to be rescued and survive, or you're just going to freeze to death at that point. That made me easily think of an alien meme. Yeah. It's game over, man. It's game over. <laughs> but yeah, one of the many reasons you will never see me anywhere near the damn Himalayas or Everest. It's, ac it's actually a sort of a quote-unquote motivational uh, po uh, picture on the internet somewhere that uh, a lot of bodies on Everest were once very motivated people, aka don't be motivated and stay the fuck away from Mount Everdeath. Oh, <laughs> gods! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. But yeah, that'll be it for Alien Isolation. We'll see if we pick up another game for the main, you know, for the main weekdays, or if well, we just go full in on Dark Side Detective. I would say probably good idea to go full Dark Side Detective for. Yeah, for the, we still have a lot of episodes that one still. <laughs> uh, let's see. And yeah, there isn't too much of October left anyway, so probably best to just not not force our way through but just put a uh, dark side detective on a high flame so to see it see yeah, to, so to say yeah. yeah not force but more focus yeah yeah um but yeah for now let's go look for someone to raid so quit game looking very much forward to whatever they managed to put together for a sequel if it doesn't get cancelled along the way. 
because it, yeah, game CEOs, you know, game development CEOs and such are mostly out of touch assholes. <clears throat> yeah, they've somehow been trying to fix their reputation on or slow to succeeding, <laughs> while others try and yeah, miserably fail. Yeah. <clears throat> One where you could play as the predator or alien would be pretty neat too. Yeah, it could yeah. be interesting, uh, but I think it, by having a predator hunt you down would very much make it impossible to win. And <laughs> well, yeah. playing as one would probably completely break uh, the ability to well feel scared because well they're the freaking <laughs> they they hunt the freaking xenomorphs for sports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless you and go also, with a young one who doesn't get any equipment or something, it, then they are just as vulnerable. Here. Here's another thing. A predator will not bother hunting you if you unarm civilian. True. <clears throat> Unless they are bad hmm. blood. Hmm. It would be interesting to have them be involved in some way, directly or indirectly. But, yeah, yeah we'll have to see. I don't think... Hmm. Now I think I, I'm not entirely sure if the Alien versus Predator movies are exactly canon to the Aliens franchise itself, or if they are kept in their own little timeline, so to say. They are, they are supposed to be connected, the same universe and all that. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I, I, I was just thinking of the movies for some reason. There's also the games, so yeah, yeah, they are linked. Could be interesting. We'd have to see. Yeah. But now it's also linked with Disney. <clears throat> but yeah, for now though, let's look for someone to rate. It is very busy at the moment, so we'll have to narrow this down. Uh, let's see, any spooky games? We've got Halloween playing Silent Hill 2, the remake. <clears throat> we have Dynalope with Lorne's Lure. I can't say I remember or recognize that name, so let's take a peek. The browser is muted. Uh, Grim the Wolf is playing Dead by Daylight. Yep. Invader Tori is playing the Mortuary Assistant. Sapphire Cloud with Little Nightmares. And then we just have some people playing Resident Evils. But I think that's about enough. Uh, oh. Dynalope is on a pizza break, apparently. <laughs> Only just noticed in the upper corner. <clears throat> but yeah, any of those sound of interest, or shall I take a pick? Hmm. <laughs> I, I wanna say Dynalope, but since I'm gonna be on a pizza break, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're off the pretty fast bears for a pizza. Uh, too yeah, bad it'll take want. five long nights to get through. That's if you wanna to switch to an approach with that's lighter hearted and stuff than you know, Little Nightmares 2, maybe. Okay, it's Little Nightmares 1, but close enough. Oh. I would uh, call that light stuff. <laughs> It is still pretty dark, but it is I'm, less I'm, on I'm, jump scares, at least. Yeah, I'm not really sure how much lighter that is compared to Alien, but... but there, there are cannibalists there. <laughs> <laughs> at least it's less on visual gore and such. And of oh, course, yeah. there's a stupid ad playing, but yeah, Sapphire Cloud it is then. So, copy the name. Uh, channel. Okay. Slash raid and paste. But before we start out, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Darlene. Or uh, going to be honest for a second, I think they were just another uh, quote unquote artist looking to advertise their stuff because they basically <laughs> ran off the moment I said not interested in commissioning. Because I do have a chat program on the side open that lets me, that's let me see people who are in chat. <clears throat> but oh well, that makes oh, yeah. like two in two streams. Huh? I'll need to get to work to a safety measure I plan to put up there, but yeah, we'll have to see about that. <clears throat> I, I did tell you, put a bloody sign above your head. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. And yeah, thank you, Durban Lord, for joining in, and thank you as always, Drake here. Of course. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. And yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see first if I actually improve enough to go to work tomorrow. 
and throw it out maybe Saturday as well. Uh, if not, 50-50 chance on maybe Dark Side Detective stream on Saturday, but definitely I'll be trying for one on Sunday. <clears throat> Sounds and, good. Yeah, from there, Tuesday and Thursday, as with Dark Side Detective as well, until we finish with that, and then we return to our usual of Warcraft and Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Yep. <clears throat> uh, the latter of which I'm actually about done with grinding with. So I just need to get everyone's camaraderie back up to normal after just putting the whip to them on the trading islands. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, oh but yeah. Let's get it right started. No issues with that. So yeah, thank you all again for watching and until next time, have a nice day and until then. Be safe everyone, sleep well and watch out for space seagulls. <laughs>